Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at how to use the VLOOKUP, but we didn't yet look at the fourth parameter, as I promised you. So in this case, we only use three parameters, what to look, what to where to find it, and what to return. But there is still room for a fourth parameter, and maybe if you did the exercises in between, you saw that if you add an additional comma, then Excel is going to make suggestions for that fourth parameter. Let's have a look at how that looks like. You click, you add a comma, and then Excel says, hey, I have these two choices for you. Either you use true, which is an approximate match, it's going to give you more or less what you're searching for, or uh, alternatively, we can use false, which is going to give you an exact match, exactly what you're looking for. I would say this is only a little bit helpful, so let's try to see the difference in our example worksheet by putting false into one of the columns. Let's say we put false into the selling price and we're going to put true into the lookup of the name. Now we have side by side the true and the false version of the VLOOKUP and that will allow us nicely to see what the exact difference is between the different versions of the fourth parameter. So, Imagine we're in this scenario. One of your colleagues comes into your office and he says, hey, I noticed you've been doing this cool analysis of what turnover we make for what product, but I would like to know what turnover do we make for our my favorite product, X098. Can you calculate that with your spreadsheet? Of course, you can do that with your spreadsheet. So again, we have true in the one column and false in the other, and now we're going to input X098 take the formulas that we have and drag it down. Now you can see what the difference is, because in column C, in the selling price, we have a not an NA, not found. Excel says, hey, that X098, I can't find it. Whereas in the B column, Excel can still not find it, but he says, yes, uh, the closest I can find is the fountain, because alphabetically, the H is closest to the X, so it just returns whatever value is closest. So I guess from this you can understand what value you usually want. You, you want to use false, because if you have false, then you get a warning sign if a value that you have searched for has not been found. So remember this, if you're using a field lookup to couple two worksheets together, you're usually going to want to use false. This is like the basic setting, because if you use false, you get a warning if your result isn't found. Unfortunately, false is not the default setting. If I remove the parameter and restore my formulas as they originally were, you see that the behavior of the formulas is like when I input true. It always tries to find an approximate match. This is a bit unfortunate, but yeah, this is the decision that was made by the Excel team Probably they didn't really guess that that connecting of worksheets was, be the was going to be the way that people used to view lookup mostly. So, so we have to remember ourselves to put in false as the preferred setting. It is unfortunately not the default. Don't forget it because forgetting to add false is one of the reasons of many, many spreadsheet errors. 